We spend about $140 billion a year globally on international aid. The poverty gap, or the amount it would take to get everybody in the world above the poverty line, is about half that. And I think that's a profound fact, because that means that if we could magically get resources to the extreme poor, we could eliminate poverty today. I'm Michael Fay, the co-founder and president of Give Directly. There's been a bit of a revolution in the field of development, which is that of mobile money. I can now sit here and send digital money to someone's phone in Kenya. Well, that's completely transformed what's possible in how we get resources to the extreme poor. And there's been another revolution. 20 years or so ago, we started to test different solutions for fighting poverty in the same way we test medicines, experiments, randomized trials, really the gold standard of testing. And what we learned was that simply giving cash to the poor worked a lot better than we had thought. We thought the poor would waste the money on alcohol or other bad things they might stop working. Well, it turns out that's not true. There have now been more than 150 different evaluations of cash transfer programs. And what we find is that while the recipients use it differently, they almost universally use it well. Whether it's to educate their kids, to feed their family, or to invest in a business. I saw a recent case where someone had gone to school and learned to weld and wound up using his cash transfer to buy that welding equipment. And that's the power of cash. Cash says, let's let the recipient decide what to spend money on. We're talking about people that are living on about 60 cents a day. So giving a family $1,000 is going to be potentially transformative to their lives. We've seen improvements in health. We've actually seen improvements in children's longevity. And we've actually seen cash reduce domestic violence and a reduction in people's stress. The old saying, give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach him to fish, feed him for a lifetime. It's a popular expression, but I think it gets a lot wrong. It assumes that once you've taught someone to fish, they have the capital to buy a fishing pole and worms and whatever you need to fish. And that's not the case. We're spending unprecedented amount of resources on international aid. We should ask ourselves, are we doing more good than simply giving the money to the poor? Can we put the recipient back in the center of development? Can we let them make their own choices on what to prioritize? Maybe the pathway to ending poverty involves empowering people to solve their own problems. Let's put the decision-making there and let's put the resources there.